Cash Cab debuted in 2005 on the Discovery Channel and ran for seven years before wrapping up in 2012. Five years later, it was revived, and in 2019, it made the jump to Bravo, where it's been going strong ever since. The show's premise is simple. Supposedly unassuming passengers enter what they believe to be an ordinary cab, only to find themselves greeted by a barrage of flashing lights and comedian Ben Bailey behind the taxi's wheel. And they discover their prospective contestants on a roving game show. It's a deliciously entertaining premise with an equally charismatic and fun-to-watch host. Comedian and New Jersey native Ben Bailey has been hosting it for the better part of the last two decades. He's actually a fully licensed cab driver in the Big Apple. And he's probably the only cabbie in New York who also holds several Emmy Awards. If you're like us and you've been watching for a while, you might have a few questions and concerns about how the show operates. Join Facts First as we discuss several secrets that Cash Cab's Ben Bailey has shared about his award-winning game show. Only one vehicle is allowed to tailgate. Behind the cab, a production van is always following to get exterior shots. It's a mobile command and control center that oversees every aspect of the Cash Cab's technical side. Inside, technicians are watching every camera and keeping track of all the ins and outs of gameplay. Ben is definitely not reading the questions while driving. Not only would that probably be illegal, but he'd also be putting his passengers in danger. The last thing you want is for your cabbie to be distracted behind the wheel. Ben memorizes the questions prior to each taping. He's also fitted with an earpiece so he can be fed questions and answers whenever he needs a little help. But since he's already memorized the questions, a simple prompt makes it easy to repeat the questions when he needs to. Ben has an assistant that handles the grunt work. Ben always has one of several production assistants with him riding shotgun to help out with handling things like triggering the flashing lights, cueing the music, turning on video monitors, and operating the other in-game mechanics. The assistant, which the production team endearingly refers to as one of their Vanna Whites, also keeps track of scoring, shuffles contestants in and out of the cab, and gets them to sign all the necessary legal releases. Some contestants are recruited in advance. While some participants are genuinely caught off guard when boarding the cash cab, several contestants have reported being stopped and recruited around Union Square. Even so, they aren't told they're going to be on the show. This ensures they will still be genuinely surprised when they find out they're a contestant. One participant was informed they were selected to be on a travel-themed show called When in Rome. They were told they would weigh in on what some of their favorite little hidden gems in the city were. A few weeks later, they were told they were selected to be a host for the episode about New York City and given a taping date and location. They also asked the contestant to bring along a couple of friends. When they met up with the producer, they were surprised to find out the transport van that was supposed to take them to the filming location was actually the cash cab. Other recruits were given an extensive written survey covering things like current events, pop culture, and history to see if they were the right fit for an unnamed game show. Your seat in the cash cab actually matters. The cab has an array of 10 cameras that are filming non-stop. Directly behind the passenger seat tends to be the angle that most often makes it on TV. It also tends to be the spot with the tightest crop. So unless you want the world to see all your wrinkles and blemishes, you might want to take a seat in the cab's third row. Never go solo. If you do happen to get vetted to be on the show, even if you aren't told so in such specific terms, always bring a friend or two. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that two or more brains are better than one. Trying to tackle the cash cab's questions solo can be a difficult task. That being said, Ben says that while groups are a lot of fun to work with, they can also be quite loud, which makes it more challenging to run the game over all the excitement. Some passengers don't want to be on TV. While the vast majority of cash cab passengers are overjoyed at the prospect of participating in the show and being on TV, not everyone who hops aboard is quite as enthusiastic about being on cable television. Ben had one passenger hop in only to immediately exit. Apparently, they were in the witness protection program and couldn't risk having their cover blown. More frequently, however, a pair of passengers will enter the cab only to inform Ben they can't be seen together because they aren't actually a couple. Ben says this kind of situation can make for one awkward exit. The Cash Cab team knows you're following them. When the word gets out that the Cash Cab is out doing its thing, sometimes people will try to follow the vehicle around in hopes of getting on the show. Sometimes they'll park nearby, get out, and wait at a stop where they think they'll be picked up. This never works. For one, whenever the Cash Cab drops off a group of contestants, it always moves to another location. 
On top of that, the production van we mentioned earlier is always on the lookout for such hopeful contestants. They want actual participants to be at least somewhat surprised when they hop into the cab. The moral of the story, don't stalk the cash cab. Winners aren't handed cash. The show should be called Check Cap, because even though winning contestants are being shown handed cash at the end of their game, for legal reasons, it doesn't work like that. Contestants don't get to keep the cash that's seen on TV. The money isn't even real. After the game is over, the contestant receives a check in the mail with their winnings several weeks after the taping of the episodes. It's handled this way for tax purposes. That being said, they don't exit the cash cab empty-handed. Whether they win or not, they get to take home a fresh cash cab t-shirt. So, that's something. It makes sense that what we see on TV isn't exactly how things go down in real life. While Cash Cab strives for authenticity, it would be impossible to tape an episode completely candidly and unscripted. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you shocked to learn about any of the behind-the-scenes secrets of Cash Cab? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Faxverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.